Hello, so in this video, we're gonna talk about the principle of impulse and momentum. Um, the question asks to find the impulse imparted to the trailer by the car. Um, and the diagram of what's going on is shown here. As you can see, the, car, the trailer is attached to the car by a hitch and it's going to be accelerating to the right at one meter per second squared. The givens are here, uh, given in this box here. So the first thing we need to do is actually write out the equation of the impulse and momentum principle, which is going to be the momentum uh, caused by the initial velocity, which we'll call m1v1, uh, plus the impulse from condition one to condition two. So I'll call that imp one to two, and that's going to equal the momentum uh, in the final state or the second state. So M1, V2, or we could call it initial and final. So to make this problem easier, we can draw a diagram showing what actually happens in this equation. So mass one V1, uh, actually, we have to first define the system. Because we're finding the impulse imparted to the trailer, we have to consider the trailer as the system. So M1V initial is going to be the momentum of the trailer. So this will be M trailer uh, V initial. The impulse is going to be the force times a change in time, and basically this is just impulse. Uh, and this will equal the momentum at state two. So this will be the trailer, and this will be M trailer times V at. So this is the first state and the second state. So in order to find impulse, we just have to plug in all of our given variables and this problem tries to trick you because it gives you this additional piece of information. We actually don't have to decompose this force, uh, which we can deco decompose it into mass times acceleration. Uh, and of course that's multiplied by some change in time. Um, but because the problem asks for the impulse, we don't have to decompose this impulse term any more than it needs to. So if we plug in all of our values, the mass of the trailer is 700 kilograms. The initial velocity is 60 kilometers per hour plus um, the impulse from one to two. And that equals our mass of the trailer times the final velocity, which is given as 80 kilometers Per hour. So if we rearrange these terms and isolate impulse, we'll get uh, 700 times 80 minus 60, and this will be units of uh, kg kilometers per hour, and those are kind of funky units we wanted in newton seconds, so we'll multiply by a thousand to make it meters, thousand meters per km. And uh, 3,600 second per hour. And that value is 3,889 Newton seconds. So that is the impulse imparted to the trailer by the car. So what if the question asks to find the impulse imparted to the car by the trailer? So to the car by the trailer. So for the second condition, we would have to look at, I use a different color. We have to look at the car 
as a system. So we can draw this, this type of diagram again. So now we're looking at the car. So this would be mass of the car times V1 plus the impulse, which is still F times delta T, and that should equal the mass of the car times the final velocity. This marker sucks. Um, so now we just plug in the values again and isolate uh, the impulse. So this will be 3,500 kg times 60 kilometers per hour plus impulse one to two equals 3,500 times, uh, what is it, 80? And if we isolate the impulse term, we get 3,500 times 80 minus 60 times 1,000 divided by 3,600 for unit conversion. That comes out to be 19,444. Newton seconds. So if we wanted to find the impulse of the entire system, we could sum up sum up all of the impulses found for each of the uh, each of the systems that we analyze individually. And that should equal that should equal um, if we had actually analyzed the entire system as a whole initially. So how would that how would that change our equation? Well, basically, I'm going to erase this one here. So this was uh, impulse for the first scenario. This was impulse for the second scenario. So if we looked at the entire system, we would have mt plus mc because the mass is now going to be the sum of the car and the trailer, and that's going to be multiplied by the initial plus the impulse of the system from state one to two, and that's going to equal mass of the trailer plus the mass of the car times the final velocity. So we plug those values in again, 700 plus 3,500, that's 4,200 kg times 60 plus impulse, that's going to equal 4,200 times the final velocity. And rearranging the terms, we'll get 4,200 times 80 minus 60 unit conversion and we get 23,333 approximately Newton seconds. And as I mentioned before, if we sum up the impulse for the trailer by itself and the car by itself, it should equal if we had analyzed the entire system. So if we, we sum up the impulse from case one, and the impulse in case two, we should get the, the total impulse. So that was 3,889 plus 19,444. That equals 23,333. Unit.